I'm definitely proud, you know, to get the win on the road. It's not an easy task to go on the road and play a tough opponent in LSU and get a victory. Um, so we definitely got to appreciate the win, number one. Number two, you know, I appreciate, you know, the guys and how hard they work during the week um, to be prepared for this tough opponent. And number three, just um, our goal going into this week um, was to win, you know, despite anything, whether it was a home game, away game, it was to win. So I'm proud of the guys for their grit, the determination, and um, all the guys collectively coming together as a, as a one, one unit. Kaelin, if your team plays like this, offense, defense, what's what's the sky's the limit? How far can this team go with the back end? So we have to separate our minds into being hungry and starving. We want guys that are starving in our locker room that constantly want to get better, constantly want to do what's best for the team. I think what's the best thing about our football team right now, what we did today, was we complimented each other. Defensive got, defense and offense just clicking as a whole and just trying to just do what's best for the team. I think that's so important. And guys, you know, stepping up in great roles today and just everyone just clicking on all cylinders. I think that's so important as we move forward. Just we complement each other from the offense, defense, and then special teams. Kalen called your running ability a superpower. Is there, when you're clicking like that, is there a feeling of almost invincibility when you're, when you're out there? Yeah. Um, you know, going into this week, you know, Coach Sheridan was um, definitely um, coached me hard this week, just pushing the pocket, um, attacking all areas of the game, whether it's passing game, run game. Um, just being my best me and just doing um, what the play call asks of me. You know, just being a point guard with the football, whether distributing to, to our playmakers, using my legs. I'm um, just doing what the defense gave. And so um, I think that was just evident into the performance today, which is you just taking what the defense gave. Yeah, at, what, at what point did you realize that uh, Tiger Stadium was like half? Like, what, what was that? Uh, so they, they say don't look in the stadium, don't look in the scoreboard. Um, but I think it was more important to just see the guys um, constantly just competing on offense. I think what we try to do is just make the other teams tap out. You know, just not worry worry about external factors, which is the stadium and what's around us. Just more mm -hmm. like, you know, how, how can we just continue to go on the path of going 1-0, attacking the opponent, and just making them um, surrender at the end of the day. And I think that's so important for us moving forward, just having that mindset. And despite there's a home game, away game, no matter who the opponent is, that's the mission going into the game. Okay, let's talk about your t-shirt. You got Bryce on there. Obviously, you played real well. Just talk about the yeah, um, so last week, you know, the Panthers got the win against the Saints. Um, I wanted to represent him uh, this week. Uh, that's my guy. Always will be my guy, and I'm pushing for him. So I, I wanted to represent him this week. So even two years ago, they stormed the field here and had a party at your guys' expense. Tonight, the building's practically empty going into the fourth quarter, and you're dancing in the student section. Personally, how satisfying is that for you and your teammates? Forgive, never forget. Um, I think that's something that we do as a football team. You know, you're going to have losses, you're going to have wins, and all your all your losses can turn to a lesson, right? And, and just try to um, really look internally at what we need to do so that we can be our best us. And, you know, preparing against these guys, um, they're a tough team. Offensively, defensively, they're really good offense, physical defense, a great defense coordinator. So it was all about preparing the right way and doing what was required with, it, with our game plan and um, just attacking them in all cylinders because I think that was going to be so important when we approached them this weekend. How much confidence did last year's performance against LSU give you heading into this one? Yeah, I, th I think the biggest thing is you just reflect, you know, reflect and build. You know, um, most importantly, having film to reflect on with playing them last year and just seeing what, what was our strength, what was our weaknesses, and narrowing into those uh, categories allowed, you know, just the game plan to be so smoothly this year. Um, and I just got to apply our offensive line. Our, I gotta apply Tyler Booker how he practiced, how he uplifted guys. You know, it's, it's two areas of, of leadership: being a lifter and a puller. You know, and, and Tyler Booker displays that each and every week that he practices, and he got the offensive line clicking in all cylinders. Um, and then um, collectively, our running back room running hard, playing physical, um, be, being utilized in all area, all areas of the football field. So um, it was definitely a team win when it comes to our offense. You broke Jalen Hurts' rushing record for a quarterback, rushing touchdowns for a quarterback as a Texas kid. Just what does that mean to you? set that record over another Texas. Sorry, Jalen. <laughs> but uh nah, it, I just it just gotta just gotta thank Coach Sheridan, thank uh, Coach DeBoer for the opportunity to play quarterback at the University of Alabama. Um, I wanna thank um, the state of Alabama for uh, allowing me to play quarterback for a great university. Um, I think it's, it's greater than me. You know, I played for the, the, the last name on my back, um, for the script day and, and, my, and the guys and that's in the locker room. So um, I, I take a lot of pride with being an Alabama quarterback. And each Saturday I take the field, I'm going to do what's, you know, do my best and just try to do what's best for the football team and our offense. If you 
seemed Thanks like you had you. a lot of success tonight running behind the running backs blocking for you. Just how big were Daniel Justice setting up some of those runs for you? Trust. And I, what I always remember is preparation, you know, and that's a play that we repped so many times where I thought I did it right. We repped it again and again, just so on that, just, just trusting the backs, just trusting the path that it takes, being patient um, in the running game and, and just, just, just understanding, you know, um, our backs do a really good job when we utilize them all, there, all over the field and they do a really good job preparing. And so I got to credit those guys because they work tremendously hard. They're very physical and they attack the game plan um, each and every day um, that they have an opportunity to play running back. How hard was it to throw in the rain in the first half? Very difficult. You know, you know it's, it's something that um, you don't expect going into a game, but it's all about, you know, how you refocus and go one and know. You know, Coach DeBoer talks about going one and know. Um, and really just attacking whatever whatever the game plan is, whether the down the distance is. And so um, that's how we just, you know, shift the gear, just understanding what the external factor was with the rain and just um, just mastering whatever the game plan was once we got to the sideline and then on the field with the communication. All right, thank you, Jalen. Thank you. Thank you.